I mean, life throws a lot of challenges one's way, and I think that um, you know how one deals with them um, is a real mark of one's strength because we can't. Unfortunately, bad things do happen, and things we don't want to happen do happen, and it's how we get through them. Are we resilient? Are we tenacious? Um, these are qualities that really will keep us in good stead. So, for me, you know, I had challenges growing up. You know, to lose a mother when you're 20 is a big challenge that you have to kind of push to get through. Um, Career-wise. Um, I thought that I wanted to be initially a film producer. I had my life completely mapped out all through my teens. I wrote to film companies and got jobs in my summer holidays working for them. I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to do and what I was going to do. And then I went to business school in America and when I graduated um, from Wharton um, with my MBA, one of my professors said, do you want to come to Russia and help set up Russia's first stock exchange? And I just took that opportunity, even though it was completely different to everything I thought that I'd ever wanted to do, I just took it because it was, it was something that felt like one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. It was, it was back in 1991, it was when the Soviet Union was just um, collapsing and it was, it was a really historic moment and I went and had this incredible time and advised these economists who were advising this up-and-coming politician Boris Yeltsin and and then I went to Hollywood to s take up my job that I'd really worked hard to get um, my start at my first job in the film industry really um, and I think for me there was real courage when a few months down the line I thought even though this was what I thought I wanted to do with my life actually there's this other road that I didn't even know existed um, that I think I now must go on. And so sometimes it's kind of walking away from something that you really, really thought was your path and destiny, I think can be incredibly empowering and can open up all these new avenues and doors for yourself. Um, and then I'm in a world nowadays where there are very few women. I'm a professor of economics. There are less than 10% of economics professors are women. Um, and you know you can make that a terrible um, cross to bear, or you can create an opportunity out of that. You know, you're never going to fit in 100% because you're never going to look like your colleagues. I mean, not only am I a woman, I'm also so much younger than them. So you know, you can. It actually can encourage you to be more authentic, to be the true person who you are. Because you know, as life goes on. You can't really do anything but be authentic. So I think um, being in a predominantly male world you know, hasn't necessarily been um, been such a terrible thing. I mean, it's terrible that there aren't more women in there, and I want more women to be in my field. But actually, I think in some ways it's enabled me to stay true to who I am.